Greetings fellow Wastelanders, Dale Wizard here coming at you with today's video. In today's video I'm going to be discussing high expectations uh, surrounding Fallout 4 and how everybody's expectations are sky high, me including. And yeah, I'm just going to dive right into this. So um, a couple of days ago now I posted something on Twitter and um, it was just me basically saying that my expectations are so high and I was just a bit scared if can Bethesda even meet our expectations expectations because I mean it has been like four years since we've had our last um, Fallout game and the hype each year has been growing each month each day has been growing and I just want to bring my thoughts to the table I mean what I actually think Bethesda can do and if they will ever be able to reach this absolutely blown out of proportion hype so yeah guys it I was thinking about how um, hype I was for Grand Theft Auto 5 when that got announced in 2011 and that took two years to come out until, was it 2013? I think 2013 was its release date, September. And I remember playing the game for the first time in like a couple of days, I absolutely blazed for it, got it on the Tuesday it was released. I absolutely blazed for it and I remember just feeling so, not empty, I just felt so disappointed in the game, I mean, it, it got tremendous hype, it got 10 out of 10s across the board from reviewers, IGN, GameSpot, all all these, IGN's not a very good um, review <laughs> reviewing site, but all these really good reviewing sites were giving it 10 out of 10s and it was spectacular, I remember everybody's hype and how everybody was calling it the greatest game of all time and I played it once, I, 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 I think I tried to force myself into loving it so much and then of course after a couple of months I, I it wasn't a bad game by any means it was an amazing game with awesome gameplay mechanics it was just a letdown because of all the hype surrounding it for me I really did feel like I was truly let down so you must, you must be wondering how does this translate into Fallout well I mean the hype is almost at GTA 5 level now it's at fever pitch now and um, Bethesda I'm I loved Skyrim to bits and I, I don't see Bethesda really um, failing to meet our expectations but it's just something um, I'd, I wanted to bring to the attention of many really you know what I mean I mean um, yeah expectations um, Bethesda that's why I think it'll be good if Bethesda will uh, come out with a teaser trailer or some sort of announcement at E3 in June, release it in October so you, they can just get it out of the door as quick as possible, like Todd Howard said, not dribble it out and make us blow our minds with anticipation even more and more and more, just get it out of the door quickly, hit us with some expe unexpected um, re release date so we can just feel hype again, I'm still hype, don't get me wrong, I, it was just a thought I had late, like 1 o'clock in the morning, just tweeted it out and I saw quite a lot of uh, fans favouriting it and um, fans of Fallout, I mean not fans of me, fans favouriting it and just discussing about um, high expectations because everybody's got sky high expectations but I am so, so, um, I believe in Todd Howard so much, I have faith in Todd Howard tremendously so yeah guys that's this week well today's Fallout 4 video and adios guys